lay the leash across that seat. Get in your place. Go on. Go on, get up there. Now, I want it, we're going to go counter it first. Okay? And I don't want you getting out excited if these sheep start running. Just put the stick over in the other hand and just shift sides with them. Now, no, no, wait. Got to. Okay. I meant shift the stick if the sheep passed you, okay? okay. Now, put your stick forward. Now, walk towards those sheep to make a left. Walk towards them. Now, to start turning and say walk. Now, look forward. Come on, Adam, turn. But wait, if they've already turned, you have to because you got nothing to work now. Is there anything on your right side other than your dog? No. no. So, why did you go all the way down? So when you show up tapping the stick, she'll go back and engage. A lot of pressure. Play this game with my puppy. Keep tapping up here. There we go. Now, turn again. Tap and turn. Turn now. Tap. Tap. And now, slow down. Look. Walk like you really own that ground. I can get a lot out of an animal if I just walk like I own it. Now, come on. Now, put the stick over their back. We're going to reverse. But look at them. Okay. Okay. Now, go down to the sheep. Because the dog doesn't want to do the work. She backed out. We're going to see if we can trick her back. Keep walking. Say, yeah. Keep coming. Keep coming. Come down along that fence tap. Look at the sheep. Don't make it personal. Look at the sheep. Keep tapping. Okay. If the dog goes there, I can't go. Listen to me. I can't go clockwise if you let the dog get between you and the wall. Okay. Now, keep going. Now start turning, looking at the sheep. Now let the stick keep tapping next to that fence as you walk. No, next to the fence, she's got to oh, go around again. Not, don't change hands. Now, did you see her crouch down? Mm -hmm. She crouched down because Adam looked at her and she got submissive. I can't make it personal. Okay. Now just stay over there. She's got to go through. If you'll walk over there a step, the sheep will go with you. See? Now turn. Keep tapping because the dog has to move its butt out of the way. There we go. You just have to see it a time or two. Now keep coming. Stay closer to the fence. Now come on, lead him. No, Adam, you're coming down the middle. Good next to the fence. Now tap. I can make her move over if I'll just walk like that. Keep hitting right down by the fence. Keep hitting the fence. Keep hitting. Now stand there. Now put the stick in the other hand. Now turn left. Tap the stick and look at the sheet. Now tap it. Now, stop at the gate. I want to let these sheep out. Now, push the gate out. Now, now, Adam, you're on the wrong side of the gate. Now, go with it. Let the sheep out. But bust the dog. No! If the dog is with you, how's the sheep going to come out? You put the dog in front of the sheep, the sheep never come forward. If you'd have just gone... I wanted the dog to stay back. You watched Carol with the other dog, okay? Just let go of the gate. Now put both hands on this stick. Now move it at the dog so she gets off. Down here, lower to the ground. Now face it. This is personal. Face it. Look at it. Now, back up to the gate. Now let her come. Let her come and then get fight her with it. Fight her with it. How? Fight her on the nose, not her oh, body. Her. No. You said fight her. Yeah, with that stick. Put okay. that stick bite her right on the nose. Now, take your foot and push the gate open. Now, bite her on the nose. Pow! She wants to run out of here to get off the pressure. Now, push the gate open so the sheep can come out. Now, go on out. Keep going. Turn left. No, don't back up and face the dog. It plugs the dog up. No, you face the dog. She can't come out. Look over your right collar. Here. Just say here. Now turn left and shut the gate. Forget the dog. Now, 
take off walking with the sheep. That's it, dog. Thinking, dog. Yeah. But both things today made you guys have to think too to keep up with what you were doing. Now wait right there. Tap. Now tap to go. Say get. Say get. There we go. There we go. Bitchy, she, look how cautious she is. Bitchy, bitchy. Man, I don't want to get in that situation. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now go across to him again and take him up there. Cut across. Cut across. Six months tomorrow. Don't 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 tell her she's good. She'll be wear you'll be wearing her again. Good is when you don't get in trouble. Now go, cut across. There. Now say here. Here here. There you go. Call her again. Don't let her come to you. Put the stick between you and her like that. Now call her a second. Call her. Now raise the stick in here and tell her stay. Right. Stay. Right. No, no, don't shake it. Oh. Making it move. Just hold it. Bring the right. bring the black hand up into the air and go like this at her. Stay. The black hand on the right. Oh. Now, hold the very bottom of it. There. Now lower it. Turn away and call her. Not that way. You just turned her into the sheep. Okay. These are things one needs to learn. I'm facing her. I'd want her to come this way so that would leave the sheep over there. If you turn into the sheep, you get a dog who wants to stay on there full time, he'll bust right into him because you turned him back. The person will get him. Now, walk over to the leash, lay the stick against the fence. Now, don't lay the stick on the same side as the dog. So make sure you do this correctly. There you go. Now put your leash on. Not too bad, huh? 